HVAC technicians work on heating, ventilation, cooling, and refrigeration systems that control the temperature and air quality in buildings. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market for HVAC techs, what kind of money they make, and the top industries in the top states to work in. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where I help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and we also do interviews with different professionals. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. Heating and air conditioning systems control the temperature, humidity, and overall air quality in homes, businesses, and other buildings. HVAC technicians are experts in heating and cooling. HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Sometimes you'll see the HVAC R acronym, and the R in that stands for refrigeration. These technicians install and repair all of these different kinds of systems involved in heating, cooling, and refrigeration. To work in this occupation, you need a deep understanding of refrigerants, fluids, and pressurized gases. To enter the industry, most HVAC techs go to a technical school, a trade school, or a community college. These programs generally last between six months and two years. According to Midwest Technical Institute, tuition for these programs range from $1,200 to $15,000. Next, let's take a look at where HVAC techs tend to work. 64% the vast majority work as general contractors. 9% are self-employed, 3% work in retail trade, 3% work in education, and 3% work in wholesale trade. Despite the vast majority of HVAC techs working as general contractors, according to the government, this isn't actually the most lucrative area for them to work in. This chart shows the average base salary of these different industries. Wholesale trade actually pays the most, with an average base salary of around $51,000. Education has a salary a little under $51,000. Retail trade has an average base salary around $47,000. And general contractors earn around $46,000 per year as a base salary. Unfortunately, the Department of Labor doesn't track the incomes of business owners in any kind of occupation, so we don't actually know how much these guys are pulling in. There's definitely stories of HVAC techs earning well over $100,000 as business owners. In fact, I would say one of the most promising aspects of becoming an HVAC tech is the option of one day owning your own company. 9% might seem low, but compared to other occupations, the fact that 9% of HVAC techs own their own company, that's actually very promising. Here's a chart showing a quick comparison between HVAC techs and some other similar occupations. 9% of plumbers are self-employed, and as I said before, 9% of HVAC techs are self-employed, whereas 6% of electricians and 6% of welders own their own companies. Another way for HVAC techs to boost their income is through overtime. The salaries I applied above were actually base salaries. So in many cases, an HVAC tech can do overtime and get time and a half depending on the state they are working. This is an advantage that few occupations actually have. Next, let's take a look at the national job market for HVAC techs. This chart is showing the number of jobs for HVAC techs over the past 20 years. In 1999, the government recorded 178,850 jobs for HVAC techs. In 2007, the recession hit this occupation particularly hard. From 2007 to 2010, there was a loss of almost 40,000 jobs. Fortunately, job growth came roaring back. In 2018, the government recorded a little over 324,000 jobs for HVAC techs. So even with the job losses during the recession, the, the total number of HVAC tech jobs has risen by over 135,000 jobs over the past 20 years. This means that the number of jobs has almost actually doubled in 20 years. The unemployment rate is also fairly similar to this chart. Right in the midst of the recession in 2010, the unemployment spiked to 11%. Most other years, the unemployment rate kind of hovers around 4 or 5%, but recently in 2018, unemployment has fallen to 2.8%. So there has been pretty solid job growth for HVAC techs over the past 20 years. The one thing to keep in mind is this particular occupation is vulnerable to recessions. The next question is, what is the future forecast for this occupation? Next, let's take a look at the government forecast for HVAC techs. 
The government is actually very optimistic about the future job market of HVAC technicians. They are forecasting a 13% job growth for HVAC technicians from 2018 to 2028. Compared to similar occupations, this is extremely high. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. Commercial and residential building construction is expected to drive employment growth. Also, climate control systems are getting more complicated and are getting more challenging to install and maintain. There is also a growing focus on energy efficiency and pollution reduction in the industry. All of these things are contributing to more job growth for HVAC technicians. Next, let's take a look at what HVAC technicians earn. In 1999, the national base salary was recorded at $32,040. In the year 2018, the national base salary was recorded at $50,160. So nationally, wages rose for HVAC techs by about $18,000 over a period of 20 years. Next, let's explore which states are best for HVAC techs. The average national salary is around $50,000 a year for the base salary but certain states on average pay much more than this. And this is again the base salary. There's always the option typically to work overtime. So here are the top five highest paying states for HVAC techs. The fifth highest paying state for HVAC techs is the state of Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, the average wage is $59,890, and this is almost $10,000 above the national average. The fourth highest paying state for HVAC techs is the state of Hawaii. And in Hawaii, the average wage is $61,670. And this is almost $12,000 above the national average. Let's fly back to the East Coast because number three is the state of Connecticut. In Connecticut, the average wage is $64,180. And this is over $14,000 above the national wage. Let's take a plane and fly all the way to the state of Alaska. In Alaska, the average wage is $66,290. And this is a staggering $16,000 above the national average. And the highest paying state isn't actually a state at all. It is Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C., the average wage is $69,610. This is almost $20,000 above the national average. As an HVAC technician, you have the opportunity to own your own business. There's jobs all over the country and you can do overtime to boost your income. Are you interested in becoming an HVAC tech? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.